Okay, now that I've got them here, I'll show you how um, what we're gonna ha what I'm gonna do. Um, basically, I'll talk about this from the ground up how I built this up. Uh, first of all, what you can do is you can put all of the different people you want to do this project with you know on separate layers so like if I turn off the crew here this group of people I can turn you know there's a picture of oh, me I'm scared in front of the baby and I even have a shadow underneath me for like uh, this little shadow that I could put you know and then I could turn me off eyeball off here on those two and then turn on these people and then I'm ready to you know save a file for someone else and send it to them and happy Halloween and there you have it I want to talk a little bit about this original file that I have underneath. How did I create this original file? Well, I found this picture on the web. So yeah, I'm not selling anything. I'm not making any money off this, so it's not it's not mine. I found this image on the web. And the image I found, um, let's see here, had this, um, what it did was, the image I found had a, um, two little figurines on a block and I thought to myself well what if I just remove these little two little figures from this block and then I could put myself or some other character on there so that's what I did and I did it in stages and kind of the stages were something like this I uh, I can show you like I did the polygonal lasso tool and I copied I made a selection of this area how to use the polygon lasso you get this tool right here it's uh, one of the lasso tools there's the lasso you hold down the left mouse button you can get the polygon lasso and then to make a selection you just click drag click drag click drag click and you go back to where you started click and it has a and you have a selection and you can make polygonal selections because of the clicking and dragging action control D to deselect so that's what I did I um, basically selected that area whoops yeah I opened up that area right there and I just copied it there was my selection right I'll zoom in to show you a little bit more clearly um, I cop I made a selection of this area right here I copied and then pasted it um, control C control V as in Victor and it pasted it on a separate layer and then you can grab your move tool your selection tool that is and you can just drag it where you need it to go right so I just drag that right over there and it fits in perfectly and then from there on out a lot of the stuff that I did was I probably did that twice so control V again and that pasted another one and then I drag that over here let's say and I might need to I might have needed to rotate it slightly to make it fit better but not really that looked pretty good right something like that and then I wanted to merge these two layers down. To do that, it's just Control E on your keyboard. Control E merges that layer down onto that one, and then Control E merges that one down. And that's layer merge down, is the command. And then from there, I use the the, um, the clone tool. And what I did is here's the clone tool, and I just clone one area and paint it another. So if you've never used the clone tool, it's pretty cool. Like if I hold the clone tool you change the brush size here or I like to use the bracket keys next to the P key on my keyboard you hold down the alt key and you sample from this area by um, pressing once with your left mouse key so you hold down the alt key on your keyboard press the mouse button down to sample and then wherever you paint will paint that area that you sampled from in another area so now I've painted this eye you can see it working I've painted what was over here over here so control Z to undo and that's what I'm going to do here so I'm going to make my brush size smaller using the bracket keys and then I'll just alt click right on this um, Venetian red texture and then just start painting Venetian red over here and then for to get rid of these people here I just did the same thing alt click on the baby's hand and then start painting and voila you know he's gone alt click again to resample you have to keep resampling. Alt click, and I just got rid of him, painting him away a little bit at a time. And eventually, I ended up with this, which is not perfect, by the way. It's not a great job. It's just an okay job, right? Then I have the figures here, 
and then on a top layer I'll just move this layer up on a top layer I have a text which I added on right some text any text with an outer glow layer style and then at the way top I've got a border which I created which I can also show you how I did that so to do the border that was pretty easy and the text that wasn't hard either let's see here I'll guess what I'll show you how to do those in the next video